Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get my. <laughs> oh, I've got. I just got myself a new phone case, and so yeah, I'm getting used to the the way this one works. It's going to be interesting. It doesn't stand up by itself, it seems. Whereas I normally would have it standing up by itself, but anyway, we'll make it work. We will make it work. How are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Mm, mm, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Church of Iron K. Such a pleasure, such a pleasure, such a pleasure, such a pleasure to be here with you as always. Okay, today we're looking at the way shore, the way of the way shore, okay? Most of us in this community, most of you listening in to me, you are people who are called to be way showers for your family, for the people around you. You are the one that is supposed to be at the front. You're supposed to be guiding, leading. Not necessarily by very deliberately guiding and leading, but actually by being yourself, by truly owning who you are, what you're called to do. I still remember a divine... Um, 2004, I mean, I've known for ages, and in fact, even when I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, I was already training people and teaching people using spiritual principles, using biblical principles when I was that young. Um, and I've, I've always known that I'm called to to impact people, to influence people, and so do you. You've known this, you, you've felt this call in you, and I, I specifically got a deeper call sometime in 2014, 15, something like that, where I really felt as if the divine was asking me, would you have the courage to say the things that I'm asking you to say? And I remember saying, oh, yes, of course I would. And then since then, there have been times when I've really demonstrated that I didn't have the courage to say <laughs> the things that I felt called to say. Um, and, and, and that is sometimes the way of the way shore, is that you are, you are, you are different and you know it. But then there's a part of you that doesn't want to be too different. You want to be, yeah, we'll talk about this in a minute, but we'll start with our affirmation. I am enough. I've always been enough. I will always be enough. I am enough. I am, I am enough. I have always been enough. I will always be enough. That's our, been our affirmation this whole week. And I want you to keep that going inside of you. Um, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight, just in case you don't know. I am the prosperity minister and I'm also a business coach. I work with ambitious spiritual people, supporting them to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures whilst living in their life's purpose. I do believe that we all get to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love drenched lives if we will claim it. And that's the magical little phrase there because, yes, it may be your divine right to live an amazing life, but unless you claim it, unless you choose to get on your path and really, really refuse to leave your path until you are living the life that you're meant for, you can have it as your divine right forever and it won't actually be any, it won't be true for you. So I support you in getting on that path and staying on that path if you are willing. We're going to start, as I say, with the affirmation. Let's do that and then we'll move into talking about the way of the way shore. I am enough, I have always been enough, I will always be enough, I am enough, I am enough, I have always been enough, I will always be Sure that you are meant to be and there are certain qualities certain um, traits that follow being a way sure one of which is that you will be misunderstood and this is part of one of the, the the most difficult things to um to handle because the very people you want to understand you your loved ones your partner your children your parents they may be the very people who will misunderstand you absolutely terribly <laughs> They will misunderstand you. You will feel 
And, and, and one of the mistakes you can make as a ratioer is waiting for people to understand, hoping that people will understand, trying to explain and explain and explain yourself so that people understand. You have to accept that if you are going to break generational patterns, if you are going to create generational wealth, if you are going to show, hello, Fasley, if you are going to show that there's a different way to do life, then of course it's going to be different. <laughs> it's going to be different because you are the one to show the way. So this expectation that you may have inside of you that people should understand where you're coming from or waiting for their permission to do things or waiting for their approval or hoping for their approval or waiting for their apologies when they don't understand and you're hoping that they'll finally come around, that just you just need to put to one side. You just need to let it go because they will just hold you back from being the, the way sure that you are actually created to be. You will be misunderstood, accept it. That's part of being a way shower. People are not going to understand or else they would already be living the life that you're showing them how to live. Now, again, this isn't, you're not actively trying to say to your partner and your parents and your friends and whoever that, listen, I am the way shower, so you must follow me. No, you are simply living your life. You are living your life with this deep sense of calling, this deep sense of mission inside of you that you are, um, you, you may not even use the words way shower. What you do know is that you're called, there's a certain thing you are called for. There's a certain thing that you want to, to do on this planet. And you can't wait till people around you understand what you're up to. My, what I'm trying to say here is to help you understand when it is difficult in your relationships. Because it will be. It will be. You are, you are challenging the norms. You are challenging what is considered normal for the people around you. So they are not necessarily going to like it. And they may not be quiet about the fact that they do not like it. <laughs> they may very well tell you, we do not like what you're doing. And they may not tell you in such polite terms. They may tell you in all kinds of horrible ways. And yet you can then take your, you could, you could take yourself off your purpose path, trying to explain to them, trying to get them around to your way of thinking, trying to blah, 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 blah. blah. Stop it. Accept. I will be misunderstood. Of course you will be. You're a way shower. It's a way that people haven't gone before. So of course it's going to be misunderstood. So set your expectations so that you avoid disappointment. When people start acting in a certain way, you recognize, well, I suppose I am the way shower. It is to be expected. It is just the way that it is for now. And that's okay. Some people may finally come around, but we can't hold ourselves back waiting for that to happen. We have to have confidence in what success looks like to us because it may look very different from what the people around us expect it to look like, okay? You may be called to do life in a completely different way, which looks like success to you, but doesn't look like success to anybody else. You can't allow others to force you into a box of what they think your life should look like. For most of us, we did that to begin with and got to the pinnacle of what others consider to be success for us and realize it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't actually feel fulfilling to live life on other people's terms in terms of success. It's like with me becoming the pharmacist, I felt that was the pinnacle of my success. I finally, finally worked my ass off and done everything I was supposed to, ticked all the boxes, dotted the I's, crossed the T's, and now I am this wonderful pharmacist. I, I yeah. And I remember sitting down and thinking, is this it? Is this my life now? <laughs> because I had fulfilled everybody else's um, expectations for success and everybody else's agenda for me, but it wasn't mine. I had practically ignored myself in favor of what I considered to be the practical thing to do. And I felt empty as a result. And yeah, you know what? In an earlier part of my life, I may have just carried on with it thinking, well, this is just adult life. And a lot of you do that. It's just adult life. It's what I have to do for now. It was what I had to do for a little bit, but if I didn't also start building a different version of my life, I would still be just doing that for now. And that is a mistake that sometimes some way shows make, which means that you get, 
later on in life and still you're not anywhere near living your purpose path. Yes, I understand that we have responsibilities and we have bills to pay and all of that. So sometimes, yeah, there's certain things you, you do as you then build your actual way show a life. But the problem is when you don't build your way show a life and you're just doing the normal things and telling yourself that at some point, which is what I used to say, that when I'm about 52 or 72, then I'll have enough life experience to do what I actually feel called to do. The truth is, if I got to 52 and 72 and hadn't actually walked the purpose path to there, I would still feel as though I wasn't ready. You will always feel as though you're not ready. You can still build something alongside what you're doing to maintain your practical life. Because no, I'm not saying you have to drop all your practical stuff, but I am saying own the fact that you are way sure and start defining success for you. What does success look like, feel like, taste like? You know, what is it to you? Not what other people have defined it as. And then, yes, alongside what you have to do to keep the, the bills paid, start building the actual life you are meant for. Stop waiting for some, and I say this all the time, stop waiting for some platform to be given to you. You are the one to create that freaking platform. You are the one to put that platform together. You can't wait for what you, you will tell yourself. You're waiting for the divine to give you a platform because you don't want to be too proud and blah, blah, blah. Nonsense. You are the creator of that platform. You can't wait for approval from your pastor, from your spiritual teacher, from your whoever, before you, you, you start creating your platform. You start now to create your platform. I remember doing a, a program called, it was a workshop actually, The Profitable Way Shower. You can get access to that if you come into um, one of my programs. Because then you get access to all of my programs. But i showing people how to take what is inside of them and monetize it so that you are profitable whilst being a way shower. Because no, the divine didn't call you to be a way shower so that you'd be broke. The divine didn't call you to be a way shower so that you would be destitute, waiting for, uh, we're hoping that people will support you. No. But you have to be very active and very determined to create an income whilst be living your purpose life. As I said, you define success on your own terms, knowing, knowing and expecting in some ways that it will not fit anybody else's picture of what you should be doing. Sometimes what you, you, you consider to be success is far lower than what other people would consider to be success. And you need to own that. Sometimes what you consider to be success is far higher than what other people consider to be success. Again, you need to own that and know that you are enough for higher, lower. It doesn't matter. It's, it, all that matters is what does success feel like, look like to you? What is living life on your own terms? What does that look like to you? Can you define it? Have you taken the time to define it? Because it's all right having vague ideas of how you're, support, you're going to um, change people's lives and make a difference and, and, sh and create generational wealth and change the trajectory of the life of your, your descendants and all of this. And people have these grand ideas, but do they have an actual, real, really clearly defined vision? Sometimes no, just vague ideas. We cannot be those with vague ideas. Listen, I do a whole session, a private session with people to help you get very clear on your, what is it that you are here to do? You reach out to me if you want to get, get um, find out more about that, like your personal 100K blueprint. Reach out to me and we can do that. If there's any sense of uncertainty or a lack of clarity around what it is that you are supposed to be doing, let's talk about it. Let me help you pull out what is inside of you so that you clarify it. Because with, with confusion, your subconscious mind isn't going to go anywhere. Okay, if you're confused, if you're not clear, you're not giving the subconscious mind anything to work with. So how can you move forward? So, one, you will be misunderstood, accept it. Two, define success on your own terms, nobody else's terms. Figure out what it looks like to you. Recognize as well, again, I, I kind of said this, but it's, let me be very clear here. You are breaking generational patterns, okay? So some of the some of the family, familial, um, cultural uh, the, the ways of doing things, the games that we sometimes play in our relationships, you can't play no more. And it will again be uncomfortable for those around you, and they may tell you about it. That's okay. You're supposed to be breaking these things. You're supposed to be changing things. 
you're supposed to be doing this. And yet somehow when you're actually doing it, you, you get scared. Don't get scared. This is the life you are called to. And yeah, embrace loneliness sometimes along the, the way. Stop expecting people to come with you. I was speaking to someone a few weeks ago who had put her whole vision on, 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 on hold because she was hoping that her family would come with her. She didn't want to leave anybody behind. And it's not, you know, it's not that we're actively going out of our way to leave people behind, but we recognize that what we're doing is new. What we're doing is different. So most people will see that you see you as too much. Your family might really actually dislike it. And it's hurtful when that happens because your family is supposed to be the ones that love you no matter what. But as we get older, we realize sometimes family is not exactly that at all. <laughs> Even our own children, as they get older, make, make decisions that may not, um, may not make you happy. I can't tell you the number of um, older clients I've spoken to with older children whose children do not like what they're doing. And if you wait for everyone to like what you're doing, then you'll never do anything. And for parents, you've probably already put your life on hold long enough for your children. You really do not want to continue doing it when they're grown out, grown as adults. And now you're still putting your life on hold, waiting for their permission to live the life that you've always been meant to live. Be done with that, my loves. Be done with that. Okay? You are a way shower. You are showing people a different way. Some people are not going to like it. You will sometimes feel a bit deluded, thinking, who am I to think that I can do this? Who are you not to? Who are you to play small? How dare you think of yourself as little, little me, little old me? How can I do that? You are one with the divine. That vision you carry inside of you, it is your permission. Those desires of your heart, they are there to be manifest, to actually be created. They're not there just to, to tease you, to make you feel horrible. No, they're there to be fulfilled if you will allow it to happen. Again, will you? Will you commit to creating your life on your terms? No one else's. Will you pay the price for freedom? Freedom, it's not free. <laughs> there is a price to pay. And that price is letting go of everything that binds you in a life that is far less than your true potential. And that can be scary. It can. So you, yourself, you'll be doing battle with yourself. Checking in, am I deluded? Am I just too proud thinking that I can do this? And yeah, there might be people as well telling you that you're proud, telling you that you're, who do you think you are? Who you think you are is one with the divine, powerful, limitless creator. That's who you are, not who you think you are. It is who you are. Now, allowing divine expression through you, through you will fulfill you no end. It will fulfill you. But that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a, a journey through the valley of the shadow of death that I've spoken about the last two days. Um, whilst, you, um, whilst you get clear, whilst you actually put the pieces in place to build that life that you know you're meant for, that you, you have the capability of doing it. You have the skill, the, the strength to do it within you. You even have the wisdom if you would open up to the wisdom of the divine within you. The problem for you, of course, is that because it's new, there is a, a tendency to feel unclear, feel confused, or to second guess and doubt yourself because nobody else is saying what you're thinking. So you might even be listening to me and what I'm saying is like, oh my gosh, she understands what, what I'm going through, but I'm not in your life. Well, unless you decide to come into my life and ask for support, <laughs> in which case I would strongly urge that you do. Because I remember for me, it was reading a book or reading a book and working with a particular coach that gave me permission to, to see those dreams that I've always had and realize, you know what? They are possible. There's somebody else living something similar to what I, I know is possible for me. That gave me permission because she came from a, a similar kind of background as me and somehow she'd elevate it. And that gave me the sense of it's not, it's never been a lie. It's never been just my pride. It is possible for me to live that big, amazing life. 
And I want to get you to understand it is possible for you too, if you will allow it. In fact, for us, the only peace we'll ever experience is when we're living to the fullness of our potential. It doesn't always mean, as I said already, what you define as success may be less than or more than what anybody else thinks. So what I'm asking you to do is not to compare yourself to anybody else. And that can be a killing thing to do, especially in this day and age of social media, where everybody is displaying all their best selves and blah, 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 blah. And it can always look as if you are somehow, there's something wrong with you or that you're not quite in, in the in crowd. And no, you know what? Create your own in crowd. Get comfortable with yourself. Get comfortable with sometimes being lonely, being alone. It's not, not necessarily lonely because you're always with the divine. But there might be a season of time where you do feel, you know, sometimes alone in a crowded room because everybody's there, but you are different from everybody. And you can almost, I know I've gone through, and I still do in some ways, but there are certain um, people that I can't, I, I could be with them and still feel alone because I can't have real conversation with them. In fact, I can't, yeah, lots of people, I can't have real conversation with them. I have to kind of gloss over certain things or not talk about certain things. And, and you learn in some ways to live like that. And you also learn, because I suppose as you grow as well, you recognize everybody isn't like me and that's okay. So then you start listening in to them and, and engaging them at whatever level they're at without looking down at them or anything like that. And you stop feeling lonely because you realize everybody doesn't have to be me. <laughs> Everybody doesn't have to be me, okay? They can be where they are, and it's okay. It doesn't mean anything about me if they're not, they're not me and they don't understand where I'm coming from. If you can try and have a conversation with somebody, but if they don't really get it, you never do that again until you know, they, they start to show signs of growth. But in the meantime, you can still communicate at their level. Be willing to. I was speaking to a client recently, and um, he wanted, he's, I think, yeah, he wants specific family members to be exactly like him, to think exactly like him, so he can hold true conversations with them and he can see what they're doing wrong and because he's, he's intuitive. But it's like, he's trying to force this down their throat. And I'm like, honey, why, does it, why is it so important to you that everybody come along with you right now? And I understand that you love them, but really, what else are you getting from it? And that's what I would ask you to. We, we were not here as way showers. We're not here, we're not way forces. <laughs> we're not enforcing the way, we're showing. We're showing the way by just living our life, by living as we are created to live. And that shows the way to other people. And a peace comes when we allow others to be themselves and we ourselves are ourselves, okay? That's when we start to experience peace. And when we stop fighting who we are. And that is one of the hardest things to do. You don't realize just how programmed you have been to live like other people have told you to live. And so you are doing battle with yourself every single day. And getting your masculine and feminine energies into oneness within you, that will bring incredible peace. And that is a journey, a journey of self-love for sure. A journey of starting to listen to yourself again, really hearing what is right for me. And really then, um, accepting it rather than continually trying to fit into other people's boxes for you. When you start to accept yourself completely, peace reigns in your life. When you stop second guessing, over questioning, all of that stuff that you do to undermine yourself, peace will reign within you. And it will be easier to move forward because you're not always taking one step forward and 20 steps back because you're thinking, oh my God, maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm right. I mean, nobody else is doing this this way. So who am I to think that? Enough of that stuff. You already kind of know what you need to do, but the questioning and the over-analysis and all of that is getting in the way and causing you lots of pain. Again, if you need to have a conversation, take time, you know, 90 minutes with me to really get deep into your soul and pull out what is already there then reach out to me and, you know, ask about the private session with me. What else? Yeah, it's going to take bravery. <laughs> to do everything I've just mentioned, of course, you need to be brave. Of course, you're going to need to be brave. No doubt about it. Because, again, you're going against the grain. And it takes a heck of a lot of bravery to do that consistently. Even when it feels like everybody is against you and everybody doesn't understand what you're doing, it takes bravery. And especially if it looks like nothing is working, particularly when you're building things and nothing seems to be working. And so it seems as though everybody else is right because you're not seeing the fruit yet. 
and yeah, at that point, the temptation is just to quit and become like everybody else. But it's like, you get to a certain point where you look at that and think, really, why would I do that? Because it's only you, only a few weeks or months before you're thinking, I need to get back on my path. There's nowhere to go back to because it feels like you've burnt all your bridges and there's nowhere to go back to, not without great pain. And why would you go back anyway? But it takes bravery to keep going forward without going back. You have it. You will be imperfect. You do not need to be a perfect person in order to be a reassurer. You do not need to have everything sorted out and to be completely always sure and certain all of the time and fully confident all of the time in order for you to be a reassurer. No, you just, you simply need to live your life. In some ways, you don't even have to go out of your way to show the way. Yours is simply to live your life and, and invite others who would like to, particularly if you're a coach or healer or whatever, um, invite others who want to learn from you or who who are interested in what you're doing invite them let them pay some money to come be with you to come and then you teach them you show them blah 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 whatever you do that but you are not going to be perfect and it's okay you are in perfectly perfect <laughs> or you're perfectly imperfect whichever way you want to look at it perfection is not required for you to live the way you're alive simply embracing who you are you are not flawless you're not always in control. It's okay. And if you try too hard to always be in control and flawless, you will just learn, it just lead to burnout and you'll feel like a fraud anyway. So just be yourself. To be yourself fully is to embrace your imperfections. Knowing there's always going to be imperfections to be found if you're looking for them. That doesn't determine whether you are enough or not your decision you, you are simply enough because you are enough and and that's it okay what else did i want to mention here ultimately the reward if there's a reward going here it goes and i don't really think in terms of rewards it's more like the fulfillment the happiness goes to the one who stays the course the one who keeps moving forward regardless of how difficult at times it gets and it will get difficult no doubt for sure know it for sure it will at times get difficult you have what it takes you are capable of your calling you are capable of your calling you are enough you've always been enough you will always be enough own it own it fully i invite you as i bring this to a close to get a copy of my book, Remove the Block. If you are that ambitious spiritual person, determined to live in your purpose, determined to leave behind the pain and limiting beliefs of the past so that you can ride victorious in your true design life, determined to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures whilst living your true design life, that free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love drenched life, then my love, get a copy of the book, okay? The link is around this video or the link is in my bio. Um, the, it contains the Six Figure Spiritual Business book. So if you've been looking at that and thinking you want to get it, well, get the Remove the Blocks book because you get both for one there, okay? And it gives you a systematic, step-by-step -step, um, system, one, for making six figures whilst living in your purpose, but also a system for clearing the nonsense that keeps you stuck in a life that is far less than your true potential, and it helps you clarify your purpose as well. So get a copy of the book, okay? It's the Remove the Blocks book. Link around this video. Or in my bio guys you are a way shower these are just some of the traits that you need to consider in order to stay on path you are meant for more allow yourself to claim for more go forth and prosper my honeys much amazing love bye